Hello everybody, and welcome to take two of this video, and I realized about five minutes in the recording that I wasn't actually recording. It does happen, unfortunately. You didn't miss much. Well, actually, you missed quite a bit, funny enough. Quite the, quite the exciting storyline we're about to get into. But, by the time I got there, Kat and the girls were surrounding a blackboard covered with scribbles and math questions. Now keep in mind, we have to pick one of these girls by the end of three dates to be our wife. And remember, they have to agree. If they don't, we die. I think the girls die too. But they don't know that part. And that's why Essie's the perfect soulmate for you. I'm sorry, you just put your math numbers and symbols on the board that don't mean anything. I think the bullshit math they show on screen in a movie. Ah, you're late to the party, I see. But you're just in time for the first alone time segment. Alone time segment. You can't find you somewhere without having an alone time together. I guess not. It's time to pick your first soulmate candidate. One of two lovely ladies I've spent time with this week. And we only get to pick two. Right? But the ones around Cat, I, I'm probably going to pick Violet and Scarlet. They seem really fun. Scarlet definitely seems fun. Um, our childhood friend on the far right there is kind of weird. I'm not really sure what the, I mean, the mystery alone kind of has me intrigued because she's a little spacey, I guess. Tara is the gamer girl. She's okay, I guess. And then the one on the exercise freak. I don't want the exercise freak. It's, it's, a, it's a mean word, but you know, she's. Eh, she's okay, but I think I think the two standouts are Scarlet and Violet, and I think most would probably agree with me. So we're going to start with Scarlet because I like her the best. You could say save the best for last, Shattered, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it and just do Scarlet's first. Who's it gonna be? I have to choose already. Hmm. I haven't even had the chance to really talk with any of them yet. Oh, don't think of it that way. Think of it more like well. Who do you want to talk to the most right now? Okay. We can Scarlet. Sorry, I'm speeding through this a little bit. Uh, I've already read this, but of course you don't. You already know that. I pick Scarlet. All right, we'll make it happen. Please, places people. Will let us see. Start in the mansion, and you know where to bring Scarlet. Yes, ma'am. Give us a minute to set the scene, then go find her. Didn't take long to find Scarlet. In fact, she found me first. She just burst in through my door. She's like, oh my god, thank god you're okay. Like, what the hell is going on? You won't fucking believe what I just happened. Long story short, I experimented with some of the local fauna on the island earlier. There's really nothing like it. Quite fascinating, really, but that's beside the point. Uh, I messed up my intro with you earlier and I'll slow down. Uh, I made a new chemical compound that causes amnesia. It's quite amazing. Have you ever seen that movie, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, starring Jim Carrey and another woman? I can't remember who it is. I can't remember who plays, who plays her. Really great movie. Basically, it, the whole premise was like, there's this there's a company that can erase your memories, right? And, you know, it's so people use it to get rid of like bad memories or maybe even happy memories in some instances. It, it's a really great movie and it really shows how Jim Carrey's like dramatic, you know, acting chops. It's amazing. Wow, it's not something you hear every day. The cool thing is applying just the right amount to a person can make them forget specific things. Who they are, how to write, you know, anything really. The bad thing is something slammed into the door outside. I almost jumped up from the surprise. Give me brains. And bananas. Find too much trans people to rabid monkey zombies hell bent on eating human brains. And bananas. Dear God, not the bananas. The door slammed again. Sounded like it was about to be knocked down. We need to get out of here and fast. Four busted through the door and blocked our only exit. Give me brains. And bananas. I'll get him out of the way. It'll give you time to run. I've got a better idea. Guard blasted full with a white powder covering his face entirely. He flailed wildly to the ground. Unconscious. So I did what was that? So I'm gonna say, is he gonna be okay? I guess we'll find out. Oh god. For now, let's focus on getting out of here. We ran outside the mansion as fast as we could. How did this even happen? Oh, I was afraid you'd ask that. I heard from Tara that you lost your memories and I'm 
I want to see if I could help you get them back. So I uh, may have experimented on the Brothers Five, see if I could erase their memories and and bring them back. I must have done something, done the numbers wrong or something. I had way too much. I didn't realize their brains were so empty in the first place. You know, in a weird way, that's really sweet. Carla, thank you. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Don't get me wrong. It's demented, but thanks. I'll fix this, I swear. I just need time to make an antidote. Luckily, I left my tools and supplies pretty near here. I can stay there till we got an antidote. Sounds like a plan. Lead the way. Wait, where are the other girls? Do you think they're still inside? They're uh, actually trapped inside the library right now. Oh, we gotta go save them. Um... I don't know how to say this, but uh, I accidentally turned them to zombies too. <laughs> but they were a little bit much to lock them in the library. <laughs> we're doomed, aren't we? Scarlet and I passed the time talking about the craziness that was going on and coming up with a plan to save everybody. She seemed to be quite frazzled despite seeming so put together. But I could tell she really did care about the infected. Obviously not enough to prevent this from happening, but still. Watched her build a machine that she insists can turn them back to normal, but looking at it, I can't help but help can't but help have my doubts. Alright, it's showtime. You really think this will work? You bet I made it after all. This is as far as I got, so. Looks like the coast is clear here. We walked to the outside of the library undetected, but we definitely weren't alone. Oh, time to save our friends. Grace. They're coming right at us. Nothing to worry about. This is payback for you guys acing your introductions. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, nothing. You sure that's gonna kill me? Oops. Oh my, uh... What's the button to, uh... This seems, this seems a little innocent. How did we build a chain gun? Of course, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to start with enjoying this just a little too much. What the hell? Take my eyes off the cameras for one second and there's zombies in the house. Not much longer, I promise. We spent the rest of the day administering the antidote to each person. Each of them knocked out as soon as we get ready to cure. Not quite the first day you expected, huh? <laughs> you can say that again. Not quite the first day you expected, huh? It was definitely first, though. Definitely. That told me to make a date exciting. I had to get your heart racing. I thought you did a pretty good job at that. Uh, I guess that's technically true, but aren't there easier ways? That tells me this woman is full of more surprises. That was fun. I stumbled back to my room and plopped under my bed. Man, what a day. I was just about to close my eyes when I heard a knock on the door. I shuffled over in a haze. Hey there, see, sorry to bother you this late. It's alright, what's up, Ken? Don't mind me, just gonna make myself real comfortable. That walked by me and comfortably set herself on my bed. Oh my god, you have no idea how much better your beds are compared to the staff. You think the ones actually working here would get treated nicely? I closed the door, then sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. I'm guessing you're not coming to my room at night to start a workers' union. I wonder, what would you want me to come to your room for instead? I can think of a few things. You think five women would be enough for a person? You're incorrigible, SC. What can I say? Variety is the spice of life. Anyway, as the producer, I'm obliged to help you survive until the end of the show. Just until the end of the show? I'm heartbroken. Now oh, being your babysitter doesn't pay well enough to make it a long-term gig. I'll be checking in on you each night to let you know how you're doing and give you some advice here and there. Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you, Cat. Well, to be honest, finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare. Back to our topic. Our audience just really loved your date with Scarlet today. I don't know if I'd call what you two had to date, but you two have become quite the popular ship for our viewers. We did put on quite a show, didn't we? No kidding, there's not a person who watched today's broadcast who doubts that she's your first soulmate candidate. 
That said, let's sprinkle just a little more drama in the mix. I'm sorry. More romance, more love triangles, less zombies. So tomorrow, I want you to find who your other soulmate candidate is and ask them out on a date. More drama. Ooh. Um, I'd rather go on a second date with Scarlet tomorrow. I mean, we'll get our opportunity, right? <clears throat> let's do it. Let's go, let's go with someone else. Sounds good. Really? I would have expected you to want to spend more time with Scarlet right away, especially considering what just happened. Oh, I get that, but at the end of the day, we need ratings, right? And those are coming from people who want to see love triangles and whatnot, right? I mean, ratings don't really let me survive, but whatever. That's exactly right. Without those ratings being high every day, they'll act as a show and your life. Okay, maybe they do help me indirectly. <clears throat> I guess that makes sense in a messed up way. I'm impressed at well, how well you took that. Is this not your first time on a life or death dating show? Can't say that it is. Well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you before tomorrow. Kingly, we both got big days tomorrow. I would call it a night. Sounds good to me. If it's worth anything, I'm really sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Essie. Good night, cat. She left my room, closing my door behind her. I went back to laying on my bed and closed my eyes. I kept thinking about Scarlet before I slept. The sound of waves crashing against the shore. Hey! I can hear a woman's voice call out to me within a dream. You probably can't hear me in there, but I try to respond, but no words come out. Let's see, promise me one thing. Don't forget. Don't you dare forget. You promised. Promises are unbreakable, right? That's what you told me. You promised. But you lied, didn't you? Hmm. Interesting. Who needs drama? We're on chapter two. Yay. Anyone else like, wake up with the world's worst headache? Tell me about it. What did we even do yesterday? Honestly, I can't remember. No, I did have a dream that we were being chased by someone. Oh really? And it was that? I think it was Scarlet. What are the odds of that? I think I dreamed the same thing. As did I. We locked us in the library and shot us to pieces. Whoa, that's the same dream I had. What do you think you made you dream all that? Either way, it was just a dream. <laughs> you used Mean Glare. It's super effective. Hmm, that's... Boy, that's not true. Mean Glare is a moving Pokemon that causes paralysis. Well, okay, it's not Mean Glare, it's just Glare. But you can't, paralysis can't be super effective, it's not an attack. It's just a status move. Oh god, don't nerd out, please. Oh, come now, there's no point getting upset at someone at what they did in the dream. I don't know, maybe. You're right, Violet. And yet, <laughs> I seem to remember you being there too, SC. Oh man, I'm gonna tell him aware of this one. Somewhere or another, Scarlet and I managed to convince everybody it was a crazy coincidence. At least I think we did. Violet was pretty skeptical. Naturally, she had every right to be. Everything she dreamed really did happen. Let's hope this wasn't the kind of dream that comes back again. How did they have like no bruises or anything? We just blasted them with freaking miniguns. They have no injuries at all. It's kind of amazing. Oh, there you are, SC. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who's our other soulmate candidate. You remember what we discussed yesterday, right? Did I forget? It's not like I've ever forgotten anything important before. Except for, well, you know, fucking everything. Save the snark for whichever poor girl you end up seeing today. Excuse me? things. That'll be just between your two soulmate candidates from here on out, so choose wisely. <clears throat> oh, wait, really? <clears throat> Sorry. So we don't get chosen, what do we do? Well, for starters, we're in a tropical paradise. Think of it as a vacation. Soulmates aren't real anyway, so it's no big deal. Wow. They're not real? Oh boy, I see. You might want to pick your second soulmate candidate quick. Wait a minute, cat. Will we be splitting up the group after today? Nope, don't worry, you'll still be able to hang out together, and who knows where that will go. 
Phew, good to know my battle plans will still come in handy. I mean, friendship plans. Good to know I still can see my new friends. Yes, sir. So without further ado, let's see who's the unlucky girl. Oh, we can't pick Scarlet and like go against her. Okay, well we know who. Okay. Violet. All right, well, make it happen. Give us a minute to set up the scene. Then go find her. Can't wait to see what crazy shit happens here. I had just gone outside the mansion to find Violet when a white limousine drove up and stopped in front of me. One stepped out from the driver's seat and walked towards me. Let's see a good day. Please do enter. What's with the formal talk? Please. Just get in the car, SC. You already heard what she did in my bro. He opened the passenger door and ushered me inside. He shrugged and went inside. What's the worst that could happen on a death dating game, uh, death game dating show? We sat in silence as one drove me to what looked like some sort of fancy restaurant and then escorted me inside. Bonjour, Sutor. I trust my new butler brought you here safely. Oh, God, it's so offensive. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, he did. What's going on, Violet? I thought I would give you a chance to have some unknown time with the star of the show is on. I am told this is what people do when they are courting. Have you never been on a date before? Uh, of course I have, and I've read all the manuals on this subject. How have you know? I've studied every book of the Lusty New Asian Maid series, and I know them all by heart. Uh, impressed, I'm sure. Well, we don't want to piss her off. I'm impressed, Violet. Well, it was nothing. Pardon my interruption, I brought your food. Please be seated, honored guests. Violet and I sat at a table at the center of the palace as one placed each dish onto the table one by one. Man, look at that view. That is so cool. He seemed to linger over the meatballs as he brought them over. <laughs> the meat, yeah, the meatballs. Thank you, one. The one, he can't cook, remember? He's like horrible at it. Please, don't hold yourself back. I don't think I will. This food looks incredible and probably worth more than my life. You're right on both counts, SC. I'm ecstatic you like the assortment. I find it myself. You're a chef? You could say that. What do you mean? Anyway, tell me more about you, SC. Well, there's not much to say. I am Asian as a hell of a drug. It's not really a drug. It's a condition. You do not remember your past. Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. I don't even remember my name half the time. Then rest assured, I will find the finest scientists in all the land to help you recover your memory when this is over. That that would be great. Thank you, Violet. Think nothing of it. It's the duty of those with more to give back, no? Though, have you ever thought, perchance, that this is actually a blessing in disguise? What do you mean? Many of us would be happier not knowing what drags us down. I mean, there is some, you know, there is some truth to that. If you could forget every bad memory you have, I mean, along with the good ones, you know, all, you know, part and parcel. I mean, would you take a deal like that? You know, like, let's, you know, like, like the Eternal Such Spot was someone in my movie I was mentioning earlier. Like, if there was a way you could just erase all of your memories. Wipe it like a clean slate in your brain. You know, you had no more, no more fears. You know, nothing. You know, basically a new person, right? Would you take a deal like that? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That that's a tough one. That may be true, but still, I need to know. You sound just like the reference examples in the rom romance manuals. Consider me impressed. You know those manuals are just, like, fiction, right? <laughs> You're quite funny, I see. An admiral treat to have. I like that. Oh! Oh, you love me. Did I tell you my space joke? Oh, the women love it. Trust me. How do you organize a space party? You plan it. Ha <laughs> uh, I'll be here all week. But it's Friday, so... Won't be here that long. Anyway, you haven't told me about yourself, Violet. What makes you tick? It's a girl like you doing on a show like this. Who are you? What do you do for fun? I'd like to know. Being the scion of the Valentines doesn't leave much time for fun, I'm afraid. 
Even on this show, I spend most of my waking hours managing the Valentine's restaurant businesses. Oh, restaurant business. But I suppose if I have a spell of time, I enjoy baking. I don't get it. Why are you embarrassed liking baking? Baking's a great skill to have. Everyone has a hobby. Baking is something of a servant hobby, according to my parents. When they found out I was enjoying that, well, they made sure to stop me from ever doing it again with all the restaurant work. Jesus. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? You know what? I do know of what, but what do you mean? Who cares what your parents think? Here on this island of a million miles out, they can't stop you. But we find some time together to bake up for lost time. Oh my god, that's great. Oh man, are you sure this isn't me in the game? You laughed like a child. That would be... That would be wonderful, let's see. I'll make some time on the calendar for you. We spent the next few hours enjoying the finest meal that money could buy. Each course was better than the last, just like each chapter of the lusty new Asian maid, according to Violet. Something tells me that the same applies to every moment I'll share together with Violet. I was about to enter my room when I heard a familiar tap on my shoulder. Hey there, SC. Got a minute. For you, cat, I got five. I don't want to make Scarlet and Violet jealous. It'd be good for ratings. I'm sorry, what? Oh, you're no fun. Anyway, he opened the door to my room and walked inside. I followed suit. I've got some good news. I'm all ears. Turns out my strategy worked. We've got enough ratings to avoid early canning. So I'm assuming if we didn't go that, the, the show would have been canceled and we would have been killed. Bad ending, right? Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm assuming that's gonna have, how it would have played out. Don't get me wrong, people loved it when you and Scarlet were the main ship, but now with Violet, so some serious competition. Let's just say the online threads went from optimistic and ununited to downright murderous. Oh, I'm glad to hear I get to live another day. For now, at least. But that'll change quickly if our viewers don't like your relationships with both of them, or if you just don't feel like your relationships with both of them are progressing. Cat laughed and then took a seat on my bed. You know, I'm curious how you're feeling about Scarlet and Violet. Between those two, do you have a favorite? Oh! Don't make me pick, please! I'm, we're gonna have to pick one eventually, right? Oh, man. The jokes are flying with Violet, but Scarlet's like demented and crazy when she's... She, I mean, they're both beautiful in their own way. You know, they both have that look that I, I really like on a woman. Like, Scarlet has that kind of mature look. Violet's got that kind of, you know, that very pampered, pristine, you know, look that only money can really give you. Oh my god, I don't know what to pick. This is the hardest choice I've ever had to make. Oh. God, I don't know. Violet's a little more, like, depressing, I guess. You know, like, her life isn't, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, but, you know, she's she's, she's sheltered, you know. She's, um, you know, she, she's been kept back from doing the things that she wants to do by her parents. I think finding someone and going out on her own would be good for her. We're gonna pick Violet. But I'm gonna save the game, because <laughs> we might go back and pick Scarlet later on. Though I've known her for less time, I think Violet, I like Violet more right now. I don't know as much as I'd like about Violet just yet, but you know, I know more than anything that I just want to keep learning more about her. She doesn't seem that bad. Really? Well, I can't say I'm too surprised. Maybe just a little. You know, let's see things would go with her. Something tells me you'll be hanging out with her again soon enough. Anyway, that's it for today. Keep it up and who knows, you might just be the first one to make it out of here. Night, I see. Good night, Kit Kat. She left my room, closing the door behind her. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. The waves crashed soundlessly against the shore and dissolved to nothing before they reached my feet. It must be my dream. She's next to me. I can't make out her face or even hear her voice, but I know it's her. The way the pale moonlight dances in her hair is so nostalgic. You look like you've seen a ghost, I see. You. No, I can't see your face nor hear your voice, but I know it's you. 
I'm fine, don't worry about it. I hear my own voice speaking, as if it were coming through an old cassette. Weird. What are you thinking about what's going on there now? Ten bucks that it's better on this side. Out there, every day is a fight to stay alive. Here, at least there's food, shelter, place to call home, most importantly, high speed and unlimited internet. I reach for her hand and hold it tight. The people that love you. I know. And I love you too. I know how lucky I am to be here, but I still want to see the other side. Why? You wouldn't survive a day out there. Same goes for me. Because it's real. It's real life. For things happen that aren't planned by some producer where living isn't just following a script. Do anything just for a taste of it. We've been over this. I know. I'm so tired of this. How are we doing here, SC? I felt the same way she did, but there was nothing we could do. Not if we valued our lives. There's no escaping from here alive. We're living another day. That's what we're doing. But what are we living for? I sighed. You really want to see the other side that badly? Yes. I laughed. When she had that look in her eye, I knew there was no convincing her otherwise. If she had to go alone, she'd see it through. And I loved her for that. I guess you'll owe me ten bucks pretty soon. She laughed. You'll be the judge of that. Ooh. Episode 3, Take a Chance. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Oh, so the girls are actually like here. I thought maybe they would just like not be in the game anymore. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. So it looks like Val's learning how to bake, but we're going to learn more about it in the next episode. I'll see you all on Monday. Have a good day, everybody. And as always, take care.